about what we can do for Gaza. And indeed, most speakers will taper off their talk by giving you a list of things to do for the people of Gaza, and this is no doubt essential. There is, I think, another dimension of the discussion we need to share. That is, what have the people of Gaza done for us? How we should be grateful to them? And that is why the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna ashkara nasi lillahi ta'ala ashkaruhum linnas. The most grateful of people to Allah are those who show most gratitude to the people. So let us trigger and activate this act of worship for a moment. We say to the children of Gaza before anyone else, thank you, jazakumullahu khayran, we salute you. We have seen how your six-year-olds are standing over the dying bodies of their blood brothers as they say to them, brother, say la ilaha illallah, you're dying. Say la ilaha illallah, six years old, how did he pull that one off? We saw the young boy wrapped from head to toe because of birds, saying to his father, whose injuries are less than him, father, be strong, don't despair, this is our land. Who taught him that? Those children of Gaza showed us that many of us who think that we are men are in fact still children. And they've shown us how children can in fact be men. Thank you, children of Gaza. We say to the mothers of Gaza, thank you, may Allah Almighty bless those wombs of yours that have delivered the miracles of the 21st century that we are witnessing today, we say thank you. May Allah Almighty bless your tarbiyah and your nurturing and your upbringing. This is in fact what they are taking in Gaza. It is the spirit that you have fostered in the hearts of the Muslims. We say thank you. And to the elders of Gaza, we say thank you. You have shown us how beautiful it is when aqeedah, belief in Allah, is transferred from the inks on the pages of books to the blood that flows through veins and arteries. Thank you. Jazakumullahu khayyam. And we say to the doctors and the physicians and the paramedics of Gaza, thank you. As you work long hours, you now live in your hospitals. And you have seen with your eyes in the last six weeks that which no mountain could bear, let alone a human being. And when you thought it couldn't get any worse, your children come to visit you in the wards, but not as alive children. They come to you in body bags and you hug the body bag and you cry. Then you stand up and you bury your pain and you wipe away the tears and you continue your duty to the Muslims there in Philistine. We say thank you to the doctors and the physicians to the journalists who know that they are now on the IDF hit list because of the crime of exposing the crime of the occupier 50 of them killed to date we say thank you to Wa'il al Dahduh and his likes whose family were killed live on air he goes down to the hospital weeps over his wife and children the very next day he's back on TV saying I have a duty towards Palestine how did you pull that one off we say thank you Jazakallahu khairan to the women of Gaza we say thank you we saw you burying your children, then you raised your hands rather than complaining at Allah. You say, oh Allah, continue taking from our blood till you are pleased. To the men of Gaza, we say thank you for showing us that a people who believe that death is not the end can never be defeated. Thank you for helping us understanding verses of the Quran that we previously did not understand until we saw you. Thank you for removing from the hearts of two billion Muslims around the world the fear of any human being but Allah. Subhanahu.